Welcome back to Ferocious Education, this is Ed. Today we're going to be talking about Torchlight Energy, TRCH. In today's topic, I'm hopefully going to give you a good amount of updates relating to this one, what to expect in the next few days, and a bit of technical analysis. So without further ado, let's jump right into this one. I've covered multiple videos onto this one, including as well parts where I went through different estimates regarding this one. It went all the way up to 40 bucks in as low as at least a dollar. So today in hopes we're going to be able to get a bit more light about when that date of dividends are going to be. So the special dividends here, they announced that the record date is going to be on June 24th. And so Torchlight announced yesterday, Monday, June 14, 2021 at 4.30 p.m., announced that it has declared a special dividend of Series A preferred stocks to be issued on a one-for-one -one basis to common stockholders off record as of the closing on market trading on June 24th, 2021, subject to adjustments for any reverse splits, etc. Now, stockholders of record until June 24th, 2021 will be entitled to receive the dividend, which will consist of one share of Series A preferred stock for, one, for each share of common stock. So they get one for one. Holders of Series A preferred stock will be entitled on a pro rata basis to any future net proceeds or other potential benefits derived from the disposition of oil and gas assets of Torchlight subject to certain holdbacks. So this is relating towards uh, selling off their oil and gas properties before moving on to or even after moving on towards meta materials and the combination of that business itself. But the stockholders on record by June 24th, 2021 will get the out or the proceeds and net proceeds of these sales. Now, meta materials, you do have different news, including meta materials signs and amends. 10 year lease agreement etc but today's view is not really regarding meta materials it's more relating towards trch and even in trch itself so this is my twitter account if you haven't done so please make sure to subscribe but if we were to just take a view on the buzz itself what is happening relating towards trch uh, in in currently in the social media realm and we all know that social media really drives some stocks in general so on here, you're able to see multiple things saying that June 22nd and 24th, so June 22nd is a deadline to acquire TRCH and must be held through 24th. Uh, you're talking about how many shorts are currently on the stock, etc. And everything in between relating what we've been talking about for a while. Now, one thing that I did notice that is very interesting for me is currently there's no short or short shares available as of the 15th of June around noon. There's no shares available to be shorted. So honestly, if you start seeing shorting activity, it might actually be naked shares, naked short shares or naked short selling, etc. But currently, from my perspective, is that there's no current available shares to be sold for TRCH. Now, institutional buyers have been a bit quiet onto this one. They haven't jumped onto that yet. But again, it's not always smart money. Before moving on forward, if you'd like to see more contents like this, make sure to click the subscribe button on the bottom right corner and turn your bell notification buttons on. Don't forget to drop a like. And if you would like, you can join our Discord totally free in the description below. Now, the other things I do want to talk about is mainly revolving around technical analysis. But keep in mind right now that TRCH and Metamaterials are debt free. There's the June 24th kind of deadline towards the record date, and they have zero shares available to be shorted at the current time. So let's move on now towards technical analysis. Now, from the technical analysis perspective, on the one month, one day, this is bullish on all kind of levels. Now, in order to kind of anticipate the next move, I do like to like take a look into technical analysis and see, well, what is the, the strength of this movement itself? Is it more of a one day thing we can anticipate or is it going to be more of a multi day move? Now, currently on the ADX is at 3750. You should only start worrying above 45. Currently, it's expected to be a very strong trend continuously moving. Now, this actual uptrend is nothing that came up from overnight. It's been going up and down uh, on a general uptrend for a while now. 10 SMA is above the 30 may very bullish and the 50 SMA is above the 200 SMA again very bullish now willing percent R doesn't even show it's overbought even though it's close to there that's not even in there MACD shows a very strong move and momentum is very bullish 
Now the stochastic fast and stochastic slow, what we actually get to see in this level here is that it says that there might actually be another leg up at that level, but be careful of the next support. The moving averages and the volume itself shows you that this has been the highest volume almost to record, um, to record date. Now the current Bollinger Bands, which is basically a momentum volume bands, expect this one to trade at 413 in the top and 144 in the bottom. Although I do expect that this Bollinger Band to continuously expand, so that's not something to really worry about at this current level. Now the current Fibonacci tracements, that's where a lot of these algorithms and fre high frequency traders actually uh, play with. The current Fibonacci retracement support is sitting at 488, below there 388, 317, 247, and 160. The only resistance to this level is 615. And even if we were to look today, 615 is the only resistance. The next support on the price line action is 483. Below there, 430. Below there, you're looking down to 399, 336 down to 301, going down as well to somewhere around 261, down to 244, down to 223, going a little bit further down to 192, 179, going down to 151, 132, and a little bit down further to 88 cents, and then down to 62 cents. Now comes to the question to Ed, what do you think about this one? Well, with almost no resistance level higher, it is almost a no-brainer that this one might actually see another move up. Now the current resistance to this level would probably be the 506 level, the 521, the 549, and most importantly the 588 level. And for me itself, I do anticipate closer to the 24th, this one will probably continue to see high volatility, and it might actually even hit 10 bucks at this level. Um, I mean, there's nothing that's surprised. It is heavily shorted based on available shorts, assuming that that itself, the flows for the shorts uh, available to them, is usually quite you know linked are quite sizable now there's zero available shares to be shorted which doesn't make you kind of go far off on the, that assumption that all these shorts are already using those shares that are available to them and in a sense i do think that after 24th you might actually see a drop because people that are selling and don't want to get stuck with meta materials. So keep that in mind because it's going to be a very tricky game because you might just wake up in the next morning and finding it dropping 20%. Now, assuming that this one continues to rev up. And another thing, the second point, which is might be good or might be bad, is how much that dividend is. And the, the day that the news kind of launches out, uh, if it's before June 24th and it's positive news, it will skyrocket. Before June 24th, it's not really going to do much. It might actually help or stabilize the price. But later on, after June 24th, expect a bit of a dip relating to this one because some people don't want to get stuck with meta materials and they already have their preferred A shares by June 24th. So June 25th or the next trading day after June 24th, that's a critical day to look at. June 24th happened to be a Thursday, so June 25th, almost a week from now, that's where you need to look at in terms of keeping in a price point and making sure it stabilizes and doesn't drop too fast. What do you think about the sticker? Make sure to down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like, and have a wonderful day. Now, if you made it this far into the video, I do recommend that you go ahead and join our Discord server. There's a lot of amazing folks in here. Uh, we do a lot of discussions here into the trading floor throughout the day. A lot of people are in there, and we do ask questions. You can ask me uh, any question you would like on there. We do post research and DDs, and we hold weekly uh, chat sessions. And we also do have a lounge in there. So make sure to actually join that and join the fun there. Have a wonderful day and a good one.